in this video we're going to fix an exhaust pipe on an Impala with openings on both sides kind of opposite each other one larger than the other and we're going to do it in a way that will last so it looks like yeah this is a weld somebody tried to fix this I think it's a garage it did it on both sides a chunk I have to take that off it's going to get in my way the way I do this yeah don't worry I'm just going to show a bit of this grinding Yeah, they must have welded a loop, a, a, a little piece of metal around this from one side to the other. It fell off. And that's good enough. So we're just going to rough up and clean up this repair area with a brush and file. Only the area where we're going to be applying some steel based epoxy. I'm going to wrap this window screen around the repair area to strengthen it further. Yeah, that opening on the other side is kind of wide. I think if you just tried to put the epoxy right over that, it might not stick well. The screen gives it something to adhere to over the opening. This tape is temporary to hold the screen in place uh, during parts of this process. I'm using this JB weld that I have left over from another repair. It says on the back that it's good for 550. Exhaust repairs are said to be 200 to 400. And even the new tubes that are sold as high temp list the temperature uh, limit as 550 degrees. So mix this up till it's gray, uniform gray, and then apply it. So on this side, I can actually see the, the blown through damaged area. So just make sure you cover it all you know, with, you know, an overlay, overlay it an extra inch or so and half inch at least on each side. This JB Weld product has a cold set time of 24 hours. Um, so if you're not gonna need the car for 24 hours, that'd be fine. However, if you, um, Run the, uh, run the engine, it will set faster. Yeah, I think we got it, and then some. Just wrapping up the other side where the, the opening is smaller with what I had left over. I use the wire to make sure it's, I can hold it up real close. It's optional. For a final stage of this repair, I have some stovepipe. 30 gauge, I'm going to cut it to length and uh, wrap it around there. 3 by 24, 30 gauge. And we need 5, five and 3 quarter inches. We're going to make a little test run here. Show how this is all going to fit together with some clamps. Our diameter is two and three eighths, so we'll overlap that much. Two and a quarter. Pipe is two and a quarter. So it'll be about there. We're using two and three quarter inch hose clamps. Um, it might be a better idea, and they're going to be spaced evenly. If you can use uh, muffler clamps on here, I think that would be a better option. I just didn't uh, didn't have any at the time. So we're staging up here, getting our clamps in place. Uh, that's the nice thing about these clamps, you can take them apart and then reassemble them in, in, the, in the workspace. You can see they were up on ramps. Really not all that uncomfortable to work on this. So I picked up some of this 550 degree JB weld marketed for exhaust work. 
And we're going to just add a little bit more of this uh, epoxy on here before we put our pipe around there. Just a little extra insurance. That initial work had set for about three or four hours before I added this extra layer. So we're going to we cut the wire, the ends of those wires off that we had on there, and, and we're just going to leave those in there. A little extra strength. We'll just give that piece of metal there, that still pipe, a little squeeze with one hand and then slip the clamps over with the other. So we're just going to get these three uh, evenly spaced. And cinch them up nice and tight. And if I was going to put those two and a quarter inch exhaust clamps on here, I would use two in that case, because those things are pretty stout. I think this is going to hold just fine. Looks good. We're going to fire up the car. Wow, now that's quiet. You're not going to hear this car coming anymore. Last year I made a repair the very same way, where the EGR uh, pipe comes off the exhaust manifold on this F-150. Hey, it still sounds good, almost a year later. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.